Hi, I'm the Herb Guy. Herb of the day, passion flower. Passion flower is an herb that's gaining popularity for all of its medicinal uses. Found naturally in subtropical and tropical climates, passion flower is becoming a very popular flower bed plant too. But I want to talk about the medicinal properties. Passion flower is one of the best natural sedatives found in nature. The medical community has known for decades just how potent this plant really is. It's been used to treat anxiety, depression, ADHD, insomnia, and passion flower is even a pretty good pain reliever too. There's a study from 2001 that shows passion flower is able to help alleviate symptoms of opiate withdrawal. Other studies show that it helps with smoking cessation. That means that they've known for over 20 years that this could be a potential benefit for people with addiction issues. Where's the headlines on that? Another study showed that passion flower has a positive impact on our circadian rhythms. If you don't know what circadian rhythms are, I can do another video if you want. But in short, they're literally your biological clock. Pretty neat, huh? Passion flower isn't just a brain herb, though. It has a bevy of other properties to bring to the table. Externally, it helps with wounds, cuts, scrapes, rashes, bites, stings, and other skin conditions. And it can be added to oils, balms, lotions, creams, or whatever you prefer. Passion flower also helps in the treatment of menopausal symptoms, ulcers and digestive disorders, irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, seizures, cramping, and asthma. And even though medical studies and clinical trials are limited, herbalists and neuropathic doctors have been using passion flowers for years for conditions like this. Now, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. And if you want to know what the circadian rhythms are, let me know in the comments too. Otherwise, just give it a like and a share, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.